Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here on Friday Night SmackDown. And for the first time since WrestleMania Sunday in February, the Rated R Superstar is in action. Robert Roode picked a fight with Edge. Robert Roode wants the opportunity that Edge is receiving at King of the Ring. No matter the result, the Rated R Superstar contends for the big gold belt on the 18th. But will it be one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre? Or will it be a good old-fashioned three-way dance in Philadelphia? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds. Edge returned to Friday Night SmackDown two weeks ago after being traded for the franchise John Cena, who is now a part of Monday Night Raw. Edge confronted Drew McIntyre, set his sights on the World Heavyweight Championship. And then what was supposed to be a homecoming in Toronto last week was spoiled by the glorious one Robert Roode, who ambushed Edge earlier in the day, and then a brawl breaking out during the midst of our main event last week between Edge and Robert Roode up on the stage that has led to this battle here tonight on SmackDown. The issues at hand, and also high stakes for the glorious one, Robert Roode. Roode looking to get his opportunity at the World Heavyweight title, but it all comes down to a victory or defeat here tonight on SmackDown. We really need to look at how Robert Roode weaseled his way in to a possible world championship opportunity in just over two weeks. Of course, we don't want to assume anything, but Robert Roode may have definitely put some hurt on edge last week through those backstage assaults. And of course, the brawl that we witnessed, as we mentioned, during the OC and Imperium six-man tag team matchup. Remember two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Robert Roode was defeated by Drew McIntyre in that one-on-one -on -one main event. It was afterwards that Edge confronted Drew, but you gotta wonder if Robert Roode almost fell upstage by the Rated R Superstar on that night. Even though Robert Roode's own misstep is what ultimately cost him and allowed Drew McIntyre to deliver the Claymore kick in their one-on-one -on -one meeting a few weeks ago. Nonetheless, Robert Roode by hook or by crook has got himself the opportunity of a lifetime. Will he get Drew McIntyre one-on-one? -on -one? Not this time around, but he possibly finds himself in a triple threat affair Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia. What is already going to be a stacked night of action on the biggest week in Universe Mode history that will conclude at King of the Ring, quite possibly our biggest live premiere event to date. Will the World Championship be on the line one-on-one -on -one or will it be on the line in a triple threat? We're going to find that out in this main event here on SmackDown. Edge and Robert Roode, this is not their first time ever meeting. They met last fall on Monday Night Raw during Edge's WWE Championship reign and Robert Roode fell to the Rated R Superstar on that night. I think that is also playing into the mindset of both men. Edge knows the last time these two men met all those months ago, he was on the winning ways. I'm sure Robert Roode has watched back the tape, has tried to learn from his mistakes. He's also coming to this a little bit more fired up as there is a championship opportunity on the line. It's all about getting the W, however. Edge is fighting to keep his matchup at King of the Ring a one-on-one -on -one affair and keep the split and the odds 50-50, if you will. Robert Roode looking to change up the whole ball game of both competitors. Of course, there's also the added motivation of Edge tonight trying to get back at Robert Roode for that backstage assault last week on SmackDown, which again really ruined what was supposed to be a Toronto homecoming for the Rated R Superstar, and Edge dropping the elbow. And Edge... Will it be one-on-one -on -one at King of the Ring? Not just yet as Robert Roode gets the shoulder up. Take nothing away from Robert Roode. Former NXT champion, former tag team champion, United States champion. At the end of the day, you gotta get the W's inside of the ring. Robert Roode may have weaseled his way into an opportunity tonight. That's all it is, an opportunity. The only way he's gonna find himself in Philadelphia on the 18th is by pinning Edge's shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. As we mentioned, the last time these two men met, he was unable to do so. So all comes down to right here tonight, 
in New Hampshire on Friday night SmackDown. What has been a phenomenal night of in-ring competition in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament and more here on SmackDown. Robert Roode looking for the pinfall victory, not just yet. And I wonder if there's any ring rust on the Rated R Superstar. As we mentioned, this is his first matchup since WrestleMania Sunday back in February. That may play into the favor of Robert Roode here tonight, who has been way more active than the Rated R Superstar as of late. Look at Edge, not looking to miss a beat. Frankensteiner off the top rope sends Robert Roode halfway across the ring. There's a reason Edge is a WWE Hall of Famer. A decorated list of accolades throughout his career. He wants another run at the World Heavyweight Championship. And Edge is going to the well with a second Frankensteiner. Edge looking to give the boots to Robert Roode and send him out the door. But Roode survives another moment in your main event. As we mentioned, coming your way next week here on SmackDown is the two quarterfinal matches in the King of the Ring Tournament. And that might be ball game right there. Spine buster by Robert Roode. And he's looking for the combination glorious DDT. And I think we have ourselves a three-way dance in Philadelphia, not just yet, as Edge kicks out. The glorious Robert Roode thought he had it. Spine Buster, DDT, but Edge keeps on swinging. Another great matchup here tonight on SmackDown. This is what the competition is all about. When opportunity's on the line, the best comes out of each and every competitor. Robert Roode got to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Did not allow Edge surviving that vicious combo to, to psych himself out and get the mindset and throw off his blueprint for victory here. Robert Roode's misstep was taking his eye off the ball in that matchup with Drew McIntyre a few weeks ago. It allowed McIntyre to hit that Claymore kick and march his way to victory. Robert Roode's got to stay focused here tonight by hook or by crook if he wants to become the third man in the world title matchup. And a DDT on the apron is going to help him do just that. That surgically repaired neck of Edge. That DDT ain't gonna do it any favors. And Edge is down and out on the outside of the ring. And Robert Roode is not letting up. Close fist shots to the forehead, to the nose, wherever they land is where Robert Roode's gonna throw them. Edge is not looking good right now. This is where some of that ring rust may start to favor in to the rated R superstar. Robert Roode just putting the boots on edge on the outside of the ring. Bringing this thing back inside the squared circle. You can only get it done inside of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Robert Roode going for the cross face here. He could very well tap out edge and make it a triple threat at King of the Ring. He's got that thing wrenched in tight. A little bit of a chokehold here. Referee, I don't think he's... That's the visual to see it, but nonetheless, Edge getting out of it. Oh, look at this. Edge going for a submission hold. Cross face variation of his own. And you see the arm, a little bit out of the camera vantage point. The arm draped over the neck of Edge there. At least it was for a moment. And Robert Roode able to get out of it. Whipping Edge off into the corner. See how fast Roode retaliated after getting out of the submission hold. Sense of urgency there out of the glorious one, Robert Roode, who's not looking to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. Nice move by Edge. Edge of Mac. Down goes Roode. Not just yet. Rated R Superstars got to get back into this matchup. This thing was heavily controlled by Robert Roode for a few moments. The spine buster and DDT may not have put Edge away, but it clearly did a number on the Rated R Superstar. And now Edge is fighting an uphill battle. Middle rope spear! Not the same trajectory that Edge normally has on it, but certainly a different variation to put the injuries on Robert Roode. Roode on the outside here. He's gotta get his wits about him. Well, look at this, Edge taking things to the sky. Never count out the Rated R Superstar. The Hall of Famer still added new tricks of the trade. Cross body over the top rope, taking out Robert Roode, and Edge has found himself back in the driver's seat of your main event. Nice kick, oh wait a minute here. Go for a DDT of his own, execution on Robert Roode. Into the cover, that may do it. 
Oh, close call as Robert Roode reaches out and the glorious one is saved by the ropes. Edge almost had him off the execution. Giving Robert Roode a receipt for that glorious DDT earlier on in this matchup. Roode running to the outside. This is what Robert Roode, this is what cost him a few weeks ago against Drew McIntyre. Taught into the audience there. But I think this time he just wanted to go to the edge. And that's exactly what he just did. Crash and burn. Edge on the outside of the ring. Robert Roode is within a snap of the fingers. has found himself back in control. Really goaded Edge in there. I think Robert Roode knew that if he purposely made the same mistake from a few weeks ago, Edge would try to capitalize, and Robert Roode had Edge in his peripheral. Had him crash and burn right there. And struggling to get to his feet. Oh, wait a minute, a spear! A spear out of nowhere! Robert Roode never saw it coming! And Robert Roode's King of the Ring opportunity just went up in smoke as the Rated R Superstar got the one, got the two, and most certainly got the three. The spear out of nowhere, the exclamation point on this great main event, and the Rated R Superstar secures his one-on-one -on -one matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship on the 18th in Philadelphia. Here is your winner. The Rated R Superstar has already had a Hall of Fame career, but never settled is Edge, and he wants another run with the big gold belt, the World Heavyweight Championship, and he will have that opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. The World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, making his way down to the squared circle. Edge stared down this man two weeks ago and threw out the gauntlet for King of the Ring. McIntyre getting inside of the ring and... Oh, man. This is going to be a big fight feel in Philadelphia when that big gold belt is on the line. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.